Yes, I am. So, hello, everyone. Um, I'm actually going to need some participation because where are my slides? All right. So, all right. So, I hope we're going to have a few arguments over arguments. Uh, it's a very popular subject. There are many, 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 many arg command line argument parsers. So I'm just going to tell you about a little library that I wrote. It's actually called arg, or, but it's actually, pr uh, like to paraphrase Monty Python, it's, it's pronounced r, okay? And uh, so can you repeat that? Okay, excellent, great. But actually, I'm not going to teach you how to use it because you already know how to use it. And this is, I'm going to prove to you that you know. So. All the snippets I'm showing you are actually running programs. And I want to ask you, what do you think this program does when I run it with the command line at the bottom? Any guesses? OK. It prints the path of my app, exactly. It would print the path of the executable, right? And uh, let's take another example. What would this print? Bah, exactly. And another example? That's easy, come on. Bah, right, okay, 10 points. Um, right, so here's another example, and we can, we can use a range for loop, and what is this going to print? Bach, Mozart, and Chopin, right? And what is this going to, this is a trick question, what is this going to print? 3, 2, do I hear any more? Anything else? 3, 2, 1, 0, and minus 1, because minus 1 is a number, right? It's not a flag. OK, now, you can actually stream values using the externally. So the, there's no conversion happening inside the library, but we can see. So what is this going to print? 42, we're streaming the first uh, position that argument into val, and we're printing val as an integer. Now, let's say I'm trying to stream the 42nd argument to, the, to our library. What is that going to print? 2019, we have default arguments, right? So that's easy. Um, of course, let's, let's see some flags. So if we have uh, uh, my app takes a minus v flag, what is this going to print? Verbose I am, right? Because we can use strings as uh, look up, to do the flag lookup, and we don't actually care about the number of dashes. I said this is a very opinionated library. Um, what would this print? Verbose I am, yeah, you can stick the, in as many uh, flag or parameter names as you'd like, and of course, this is going to do the same thing. Right, so what do you think this prints? 42, exactly, so that's easy, right? We can, if we use the equal sign, it's gonna parse it like that, and if we wanna, we insist on uh, inserting spaces, we can add this uh, additional constructor member to always default to parameters with values, even for flags that weren't re registered. So, and what would this print? Twenty nineteen, right? Because we can have uh, default uh, default values, and similarly, we can have parameter names with uh, initializer lists. And what is this going to print? Oh, you guys are too tired now. Okay, so it's going to put CPP twenty nineteen, right? So you can go and get uh, rgh. It's a header only library, C plus plus eleven, BSD license, has no stand STD. No non-STD dependencies, no exceptions, unless you do, because you're doing all the conversions on the user side, so if you want to use exceptions, you can. Uh, if no, you don't. It supports CMake, and somebody sent me a PR for buck build. I don't know what that is, but apparently someone uses it. And really, the only thing it doesn't support that many other uh, parsing libraries do support is automatic usage generation, because it's so minimal. But um, this is a working program, and as you can see, 
there, there's no uh, path that actually gets to all the full instantiations, but when I run my app, it's actually going to print one, two, three. So hopefully, one day soon, we can have something like this. Thank you.